Hi, welcome to Chem with Chem. In this session, we're going to be working question two from chemistry paper two from the January 2019 sitting. If this is your first time to the channel, please check out all the other materials that are here for you. Like if you find value and share with your friends. And of course, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you'll be kept abreast of the latest materials that are posted. Let's dive in. Part A. Jamila is in her room studying and smells a scent, hmm, scent of curry coming from her mom's cooking in the kitchen area. She thinks to herself, ah, diffusion at work. Define the term diffusion. So diffusion is the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to low concentration until there is even distribution. Probably would have seen this before. Or we could say movement of particles from where there are many to where there are few until there is even distribution. But we'll stick to what we, we just wrote. Explain how the diffusion of the scent of the curry supports the particulate theory of matter. So in our answer, we have to state what the particulate theory of matter is. So of course, if we're smelling curry, it means some of the chemicals in the curry would have, well, are in the gaseous state and would have diffused from one part of the house or the kitchen to Jamila's room. So let's go. So gaseous chemicals from the curry diffuse from the kitchen to Jamila's room, supporting that matter is made up of tiny particles which are always moving or which are always in constant motion. This reminds me of a program that used to come on early in the morning, um, what is in motion. All right, uh, okay, part three. Diffusion is a process that can occur in liquids. State how the arrangement of particles in a liquid differs from that in a solid. Particles in a liquid are close together with small amounts of space between them. The particles can slide over each other. In a solid, they are very close to each other with little or no space. And in a gas, they're far apart with large amounts of space between them. Apart from diffusion, identify one process that supports the particulate theory of matter and state one example of such a process. All right, so we could. Well, there are three processes that support the particulate theory of matter, osmosis, diffusion, Brownian motion. Osmosis is a special type of diffusion. So we can say osmosis and an example would be peas and we will say quote unquote swelling when soaked in water. 
not just peas. It happens with salt fish. It happens with raisins in water, right? And we could also use Brownian motion. And an example is us seeing tiny specks of dust particles moving about in a, in a crazy manner when you turn on like the projector that would probably take a few more lines. So we're, we'll work with what we have here. Part B, Jamelia's mom showed her that in order to cook with curry, she first had to mix the curry powder with water. Really? We don't. Right. Jamelia observed that the mixture resembled a chalk and water mixture she had seen in a class, except the curry mixture was brown. Part one. State whether the mixture of curry powder and water is a suspension or a colloid. All right. So if it resembles, um, if it resembles chalk, if it resembles uh, a chalk and water mixture, then it is a suspension. And if it's a suspension, then the most appropriate technique that could be used in the lab to separate this mixture is filtration. Because the particle size, the solute particle size, or the solute particles would be big enough to actually be trapped in the, or be trapped by the filter paper pour. They would not be able to pass through. Still questioning that mixing the curry in water. I'm not sure where we do that, but um, yeah, yeah, let me leave it there. Part three, draw a clearly labeled diagram of the apparatus that could be set up in the school laboratory to separate the mixture of curry powder and water. In your diagram, show the location of the separated components. All right, so we just need to draw the setup for filtration. So we'll need our, we'll need our, Filter funnel. And you'd be using a ruler to do this with a pencil so your lines would be straight. That's our filter people. This is our flask collecting the filtrate. So let's label. So this is our residue, which is the curry powder. So let's go. So first, this is the filter funnel. This is our filter paper. That's the curry powder which is our residue. This would be a conical flask. Filter funnel would sit nicely on that. And our filtrate, the liquid, the water in this case, that goes through the filter paper pores. So the filtrate would be water. I wish it say water and put filtrate in bracket. So this would give us the four marks. Of course, you'd use your rulers and your pencils so your diagram would look nice. And just like that, you just got 15 marks. Okay, so just please state in the comments how many marks you got out of the 15. Thank you for joining Kim with Kim. Be sure to check out the other content that are here on the channel. 
please leave a like share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't done so and hit the bell so you will never miss out when new content is added as usual see you in the next video